What is up, YouTube? Welcome in and welcome back. So today I'm going to take a look at something new. Uh, this artist is Eileen. Um, and actually, I, I had uh, had her on my radar for quite a while, actually, um, when I first started investigating K-pop. And I think the main thing that happened was... Uh, I, and I'm, I'm not sure if she's actually seriously considered K-pop because what when I looked up looked her up, she's actually was born in America and she but she performs in Korea. Um, she's uh, from parents are Korean, lived in America, but she went over there uh, and had a pretty big career, um, and um, and so she's a you know she's she was never in a gr a group or anything, but. Uh, um, I had heard that she was really good, so I wanted to check her out. And like I said, I had her on my kind of to-do list for actually for a couple of months now. Um, but uh, so, yeah, I went to take a look and see what she does. This has kind of a, almost like a Manhattan transfer kind of feel to it. Um, so I guess that comes from her, um, her connection to the States, because this is definitely doesn't sound like a, a regular like, K-pop song. <laughs> Yeah. 
yeah, that definitely uh, had kind of an uh, American, you know, not even now, like back in the 50s kind of sound to it. Um, you know, like I said, kind of like a Manhattan transfer is kind of what I, that's what's the first thing that came to my mind to listen to her. But anyway, uh, yeah, so um, like I said, she's, uh, you know, she, she moved to, to Korea to, to launch her career. Um, and I'm guessing, you know, I don't know if she tried to make it here or if it was just seemed like it was easier because of, uh, because of her heritage. But, uh, yeah, that was, that was pretty cool. Um, and, um, I'll have to check out some more of her stuff. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. And if you found this interesting, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Bye.